Hey, what's up guys? I'm Vincent. Today, I'm going to show you how to master the three bar tic tac series. All right, here we go. If you feel boring with the traditional shooting method like the snake shot or pole shot, here is the shot for you, the three bar tic tac series. For this shot, it is a very beginner friendly shot because it only requires very easy ball handling skills to throw out some basic options. However, if you want to bring this shot to the next level, you have to control the ball well under your free bar. Otherwise, it is hard to throw out some advanced options. And this is a very versatile shot with unlimited options. So sometimes you could throw out some unexpected options on your opponent. In this video, I'm going to talk about the basic concept of the tech tech shot and I will describe and explain some basic options for this shot. After that, I will talk about some advanced options and how you could utilize these options in the real match. Before we start, if you are new in here, consider subscribing. Don't forget to click the bell below so that you don't miss out an episode. First of all, let's talk about the basic concept of the free bar tech tech series. So you may think that the free bar tech tech series is simply you tech tech the ball under the free bar all the time without any system. You simply want to throw any shot at any time. However, this is not what we want. We want to have a basic setup or a basic system before the shot. So what do you want to do? Let's think of the snack shot and the pole shot. For the snack shot, you set up in here and the pole shot you set up in here. And the reason why you want to set up in here or here, because the ball is sitting right in front of the goal. So that you could always go for the straight and the straight is always the shortest distance to the goal and the easiest option to execute for this shot. And this is the same for the tech tac series. You simply want to tech tac the ball right in front of the goal. So you simply want to tech tac between the center guy and the nearest guy. This is what you want to do so that the ball is always in front of the goal. Or you could take that with the far guy and the center guy. It is, it is just a matter of your choice. And this is the setup for the Tech Tech series. Now I'm going to use the center guy and the nearest guy in this video to explain everything. So how do you want to Tech Tech? You want to do it slow you want to do it slow and not fast. The reason is if you do it too fast, it is quite hard to control the ball and you are going to focus all the energy on the tech tech and you are not using any time to read the defense or analyze the defense. So you want to tech tech and do it slow, just like this. So that you have energy to read the defense, analyze the defense and go for the shot. Now you understand the basic setup for the Tech Tech series and let's talk about the basic options for this shot. First, the straight. The straight in the Tech Tech series is different than the snake shot or the pull shot because you could execute the straight in here, here, here or here. You could simply execute the straight options throughout the goalie area. The straight is actually the strength of this shot because you could go deep to the far side and the near side. Let me show you. And you could go for different splits in the center.
or you could do the cuts from this spot and this spot. However, you may question that because you are tic-tacking really slow and you only go for the straight or the cut, your opponent could simply follow the ball, follow the motion of the ball, and it is going to block most of the shot. This is true. Now I'm going to show you how to overcome this problem. So let's say you tic-tac slow in this setup. Now you could change the speed of the tic-tac and when you change the speed of the tic-tac, he could not follow the motion of the ball. Now, when you see the opening, you could go for the shot immediately. Of course, you are going to feel boring simply with the straight and the cut on the tech tech series. Now, I'm going to show you some advanced options. The first one is the slingshot. So, let's say your opponent set up in the standard defense and you are going for the cut and the pull side all the time. So he decides to change to a reverse defense. Now you could see that this opening is wide open and you could go for the slingshot easily. On the other hand, you could also bring the ball to the far side and do the far side sling shot on the standard defense. It takes time to develop the consistency in the sling shot. Make sure you check out my other video on the top right corner now to learn how to master the sling shot. If the sling shot is too hard to learn, you could consider the fake to pull kick series. Let me show you. So let's say you are attacking between these two guys, just like the setup. Now you are going to bring this guy to this spot. And when you bring this guy to this spot, the motion is very obvious. And now you are going to make your opponent's defense jump all the way to the far side and this area is going to be wide open and you could do the shot easily. If they are starting to alert in this area, you could do the pull kick easily. Of course, there are so much more you could do with the Tech Tech series. Try it out and let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I will see you again next time.